We serve an amazing God. Now pay attention to the scriptures. God did not just use Joshua to part the river Jordan, but he used him in the time of harvest. Now in the time of harvest, the water begin to overflow the river banks because it gets so high. But no matter how high the water was, no matter how difficult it was to pass through the river Jordan, that was nothing impossible for God. Now if you read the story about the three Hebrew boys who were thrown in the fire because they did not want to worship an idol. The Bible says the fire was set 10 times hotter. Now the enemy had believed that they must dead. You know, they can't come out of this situation. But no matter how impossible a situation may seem to come out of, God is able to step in and deliver. Now when you think about the prophets of Baal and Elijah, the prophets of Baal could cut themselves. They did everything they could trying to prove that their God was real, but their God never showed up. But Elijah took it to another level. He threw water on the wood, showing up and showing off. And when you look, it was nothing for God to ignite the fire. Nothing hard or impossible for God. Let me jump to the New Testament. The woman with the issue. The Bible says she spent all her money at the doctors. She tried the surgeons, the physician, the specialists, everything that was available at that time. But no matter what she tried, she wasn't able to get cured until she met Jesus. Nothing is impossible for God. Think about Lazarus. The Bible did not just say Lazarus was dead. Mary and Martha said, by now he stinketh. The Bible said he was dead for four days, meaning by now he started to decompose and rotten. He was properly dead, we call it. But no matter how dead a situation seems, God is able to bring life and to change any situation. Now if you read the story about Paul and Silas in prison, the Bible did not just say they were thrown in prison. It says they were thrown in the innermost prison, meaning the hardest to get out of prison, the hardest to get out of situation. No matter how hot the fire is, no matter how deeply in prison you are, no matter if you try every doctor, every physician, whatever you want to try, no matter if the water overflow in your banks, no matter what the situation is, nothing is impossible for God. We serve an amazing God. And I say that to say, when you try everything and everything fails, try Jesus. Loud!